Hi and welcome to another episode of Alberta Backwoods Adventures. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to do a whitefish on the smoker. Stay tuned. Okay, now that we've let our fish dry out for 12 hours in the salt pack, we're going to rinse all that salt and sugar off and then we're going to place it on a nice wire rack like this one here to uh, let it dry out some more. We'll take that outside, put it in the sunlight, let that dry out while we get the smoker set up. Now that they're on the rack, I'm going to pat them dry with some paper towel. Now at this point there's a few options of what you can do. Ideally in the end what you want is a nice dry piece of fish that's not sticky to the touch that forms somewhat of a skin over top of it when it's dry. Um, one method is to put it in the refrigerator just like this. Another method is uh, to blow a fan on it as it is like this. What I'm going to do is just take it outside. It's a nice sunny day today and uh, I'll set it out beside the smoker while I get that set up. This is the smoker we'll be using today. It's very basic. It's just a charcoal smoker. Um, this is the way I like to use. Uh, instead of the gas or electric, I consider that cheating. I only like to use hardwood charcoals. And I start those off in a cast iron box uh, with a blowtorch, get those going. Then we're gonna put them inside the smoker and see what temperature we get out of those. We have to have between 160 and 175 degrees Fahrenheit for smoking fish. We want to keep it low and smoke it for a long time. So let's get started. I'm going to cook these coals until they get nice and white hot. Using a blowtorch here just helps speed it up a lot. Otherwise you got to light a fire to get these things red hot. It takes a long time. Okay, it's been about five minutes with the blowtorch now. You can see these coals are on, on fire all by themselves here. So I'm just going to wait for these flames to die down. Then we'll put these coals in the smoker see what temperature that gives us. Okay, so we're going to take these coals here and put them in the smoker now. Let them sit right in the center there. Pulls her up. Now we're going to watch and wait. We want to get up around 170 and hold it at that temperature for a, about two to three hours. Okay, it's been about five minutes and you can see already that uh, it's way too hot. I've already gone ahead and removed one box of coals. As you can see, and now I just remove a few at a time, put them in this storage container until we get that temperature down. Once again, you want it sitting at 170 or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and you want it to sit there for about two to three hours in total smoking process. And we just watch and wait to see where that temperature takes us. Okay, so we've been waiting a while now and we're finally around the right temperature. Now this is a process that you can't rush. You have to have everything within a ballpark range, otherwise things go wrong. I'd like to note on the side we like to keep some coals here as well. That way we can keep the temperature regulated throughout the whole process. Now that it's ready, we're going to go ahead and add the smoking rack. You'll see the rack we have here. This is custom made, I uh, designed it specifically to fit inside my smoker with an old uh, barbecue grill on the top. So now that that temperature is ready and the fish is also ready, we're going to go ahead and place some of those on the grill. And we place the fillets of fish skin side down. Now we're going to close the lid and just let the heat to them for about 10 minutes or so before we add the wood for smoking. Go get them. Are they in there? Go get them. Go get them, Dallas. Hey. Go get him. Are they in there? Go get him. Get him out of there. See now that we've added the fish, it's sitting right at 165, right where we want it. So now we're gonna go ahead and add just a little more coals and we're gonna add some hardwood hickory tree here. You want to get the ones that are nice and white hot. Okay. Now we're going to take these nice chunks of hickory, place them on the coals. Now you just leave those sitting like that and they will start to smoke. Close up the lid. And sooner or later you'll start to see some gray smoke coming out the top and that's a good sign. Now the smoke is rolling. Temperature's just right. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to let this smoke hit that fish for at least an hour, straight hour of smoke. We're going to come back and check on her. Now you want to periodically check on this temperature here, you know, take a minute out of whatever you're doing in the yard, come back and check on it. You want her to stay at 160, 170 for this whole period. Don't let it drop 
and if you let it go higher you're going to cook your fish too fast and it's not going to turn out right so again 165 170 degrees fahrenheit two to three hours it's been about an hour now and the smoke has died down as well as the heat has dropped down so i've gone ahead and added that second row of coals in the back and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put some hickory chips on top of those coals back there just to get some more smoke going in action. they're already starting to work. Fish is coming along nice. And that temperature will come back up again. Back up to about 170. And that's exactly where you want it. One thing film can't capture is smell. And it smells delicious back here right now. That smoke's rolling nice. This is exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so you can see here there's a lot of fat developing in the fish here. Uh, just above the skin in between the slices there. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over now. So that fat will drip down during the smoking process. Now that they've been smoking face down for a while, we can peel the skin off the back. You see how easily it comes off now. Now I saved that for my dog. He loves it. Now that the skin has been peeled off, I've placed them back on the grill with the side that was against the skin facing down. And we'll continue to smoke now. Watch that temperature. And there you have it. <clears throat> Finished product. Some nice, evenly smoked whitefish and some skin treats for the puppy dog. Take it. There you go, buddy. Take it. Good boy. Be sure to join us next time on Alberta Backwoods Adventures, where I show you how to make a long fire and also make bannock on the fire. Till next time.